Sunspin Sunspin two hundred and seventy five hundred thousand of dad's money on virtual girlfriend. How the they make a video on 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 uh on y'all? Um, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Most y'all probably got catfished by somebody in this chat room. Tier one sub to Brazy. But we're not gonna speak on that too much, though. We're not gonna speak on that too much. We gonna watch the video though because two hundred and seventy five hundred thousand. 29-year-old Grant was unemployed, living rent-free in his parents' guest house in the rural village of Chuliota, Florida. Rent-free in his parents' guest house, Florida. He had not once lived on his own and had recently been kicked out of an anesthesiology school for lack of attendance and also fired from a job as a nurse for stealing medication. It was around that time when he decided to experiment with a relatively new realm of online cam sites. At least this These one isn't like... These differ from regular sites in that they are interactive crazy Instead super of crazy like recorded video, I hope you didn't about can it. solicit live performances from models in exchange for money this allows individuals to watch whatever acts they want but at a price using his brother's credit card he browsed <laughs> through multiple cam models spending an average of 20 minutes on each one yet it was on the 5th of june when forensics discovered he came in contact with a performer who went by the stage name of sylvie and over the following six months grant would spend over two hundred thousand dollars of his family's money on this one any any take a picture like this insane bro i done seen like i'm i'm telling y'all bro i done seen a, a, a lot of, of let me let me let me let me put this the, the let me let me think about what i'm saying before i say it let me see i done seen a lot of crazy folks over the past couple of weeks so i know which ones look to par to be capable of some certain things of their doings that their ancestors did when they weren't born yet <laughs> One model. The entirety of his father's life savings that he had saved up from working as a pharmacist for over 30 years was gone. He had spent $60,000 from the, his brother's uh, credit thank card you for the bin and had also the taken Yo, a bin 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 $60,000 loan out on the house. WPR? When his family found out, instead of calling the police, Grant was sent to a behavioral rehabilitation facility for online porn addiction. The more we try to run from shame, the stronger it becomes. When Grant got back from rehab on January 4th, his father presented well, that boy him with like a two-page list of rules he was required to follow if he wanted to continue living at home. One of the conditions was that he cease all communication with Sylvia immediately, but it took just three weeks for the family to discover that he had broken the contract and re-established contact with the model via Twitter. On January 24th, when Chad Amato got home from work... I mean, he, I knew it was something crazy going on with Kason too. That's the reason that, as to why, like, I see, I see, bro... I'm telling you, bro, I be knowing, bro. I be knowing too, bro. This nigga going crazy, right? I'm telling you, bro. I knew it, bro. Reportedly confronted Grant over his Not disregard. Not slick, man. It was something about that beard, bro. argument, which almost turned into a physical altercation. Grant was then kicked out of the house. <laughs> okay, he don't look like it. He looked like it when he had the beard, though. He and for the first did. time in his life, he was on his own. Shortly before 9 a.m. the oh, next he morning, nice right police here. received a call from Cody Amato's girlfriend alerting them that he had failed to show up to work that morning and hadn't responded to multiple phone calls. They arrived at the residence at 9.17 a.m. and once knocks on the front door went unanswered, they were able to gain access with a knife via the back entrance. Chad, Margaret, and Cody Amato were all found lying dead on the floor with gunshot wounds to the head from a 9mm handgun. Grant became the immediate prime suspect, as a witness statement from Cody's girlfriend advised police of the confrontation that had occurred the night before, as well as the collection of bizarre circumstances that had led to that point. He was traced to a hotel in Orlando. If you're being cooperative, sir, we appreciate that. Yes, um, some similar county detectives want to talk to you, so we're going to get nothing, their handcuffs off of you. Nothing in your pants, correct? It's just a normal routine when we encounter someone that yes, we sir. want to make sure you're safe. No, now we know you don't have any weapons, we'll, we'll get those restraints off of you. We're confident you've been cooperative, everything's good, so we appreciate that very much, goes a long way. He immediately agreed to accompany them to the police station and sit down for an interview. Reports stated oh, wow. that he wasn't made aware of his family's demise, nor was he advised as to what the purpose of the interview was for. Grant himself didn't once inquire, just reportedly sat silent in the back seat of an unmarked police car, staring hey, out the window for Don't the be sending no random woman. Yo, 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 I don't even Thank have to say what I'm finna say, right, y'all? I don't have to say that, right? I don't got to say that to y'all. I hope not. Yo, Stit Talk, thank you for the tier one. 
It's too late. I didn't see. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> I feel like y'all the niggas that be looking under the tweets for the niggas selling guns and trying to buy it from them. No, 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 no. I'm holding off on that. Okay. Hi, I'm Eva. Hi. How are you? Yo, bro, if y'all here get to that point where here's just, just cut it, just cut he it all off. has not been told nor given any insinuation as to why he is sitting inside an interrogation room and has not once inquired himself. Hey, cut that we shit really off. appreciate you coming up here with us. And uh, at any time during this, you need to stop and go to the bathroom, want a drink, um, snack. Saying, just let me know, and we'll be, we'll be happy to get to it. Um, my name is Danny Anderson, and uh, I'm a deputy Simo County Sheriff's Office at Eva. The investigator's initial plan is to establish Yo, a friendly Kyle, connection with the suspect, with which can months. often be a highly Thank effective you, tactical procedure to elicit a more detailed discourse. Yet on this occasion, something seems to get lost in the endeavor, which you'll just have to see for yourself when the time comes. This is one of the most fascinatingly aggravating interrogations to ever be released into the public domain. Um, so we just want to talk to you a little bit, and we'll get this in and out, be on our way. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, full name. What the fuck My, is happening? Uh, full name is Grant Tiernan Amato. Oh! What? What is there any special? I think that's happening because I just recently added the bots back, and people weren't they 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 weren't able to check their shit, but now they are. My bad. Uh, nursing degree? What you do? Or uh, I mean, uh, I, I have like other certifications. Uh -huh. Um, but uh. Yeah, I mean, other that, certifications. Like, I, I, sending I, 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 a random I'm bitch sure. online money that she'll never fucking I'm literally. Years, she I'm wouldn't even years. spit on you if you was on well, fire, I had, nigga. I was accused of grand theft of the third degree back in. June of 2018. There was no evidence ever ever presented. All the charges were dropped. Mm -hmm. I had been applying for jobs for the last couple weeks. I'd gotten a, like three or four callbacks, mm -hmm. um, and then I went on a job interview yesterday for a home infusion nurse job. What time was your interview yesterday? Uh, it was scheduled for 10. I got there at around 9 okay. in the morning, uh, and then I think we actually had the interview at about 9:45. How'd that go? I mean, it was all good. Uh, they didn't have anything. They said that they'd probably be getting back to me by Tuesday or Thursday uh -huh. this coming week. Get you back to work? Yeah. yeah oh, fucking I guy, his head look like a fucking walnut. It's, I mean, it's a crappy <laughs> world when, you know, you don't have any money. You sure. can't you know, do anything, so. Financially, how, how's the, the nursing? It's a crappy world like, even with money. She knows a lot more about nursing. The nursing, how, do, how does it pay? That's okay. um, true. I mean, if you work your your standard three to three twelve hours a week, you get anywhere between I'd say forty five and fifty five thousand dollars a year. So okay. I mean, it's not bad. I think my best year I, I made like fifty five thousand. Anybody putting dots or saying cap, I really, really, really like. I can't wait until the day like y'all are successful and like amazingly successful. You got money rolling in when you realize it really only bring more problems. Actually, true. Like. It only bring more people looking in your pockets, trying to figure out what you're doing, trying to get into your business, counting your pockets when it's none of their business. People asking for money that you never even talked to or people coming back around in your life, asking and begging and pleading for shit, saying, oh, I need this. I need that. It's a lot to deal with, bro. It's actually a lot to deal with. Yeah, you got money, but that don't don't get rid of shit, to be honest. But fucking bills and and financial problems after that you still a human still got shit to handle still got to take care of people all that true it's actually true how you from the hood talking like this who said i was from a fucking hood d heron you dumbass bitch what are you fucking saying you dumbass you just made the pr you just made the assumption that i'm from the hood because why you fucking idiot are you stupid nigga i'm speaking like this because i've literally had to sleep in front of the front door because the shit wouldn't lock, nigga, on the floor, with my dukes, with my sister, with me. So what are you saying? I didn't always have money. Fuck, nigga. Because I rarely worked overtime. Right. You know, Yo, saying, nah. Well, thank you for the, the 28 months, Zion. Thank right. you for the nine months, so Peck. Thank you for the 17 months. Right. That time. Just to pay the bills. To right. You where you gotta yeah. gotcha. Um, and that, that's and what you're going for. What does that pay? Nurse anesthesia pays. I mean, base like about 150 up to 175. Damn. Okay. Um, high school, where'd you go? I went. This to some real shit. How were you great? Um, high school and poor the first millionaire two years of college. <laughs> I was A B C. What the fuck? Um, you know, I was in honors in the major program for uh, UCF. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Girlfriends. Yo, Sean, thank you too much. I had like my high school sweetheart uh, girlfriend um, for about five years. And then ever since then, no like official girlfriends, no flings or anything like that. Dates here and there. Dates occasionally, but mm -hmm. I mean not really. Kind of focused on like just getting through the life the life goals that you know I wanted to achieve. What do you like to do? What do I like to do? I like to watch anime. What is it? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I mean, I think it's, you said MMA. I'm like, okay, and then then when you start explaining to Now you see right. You see where that anime shit leads to now, y'all. This shit lead to shit like this, bruh. I'm just saying, I'm not gonna start. I, 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 I have my fair share in watching a little bit of anime, but the niggas who go to the extent to change their whole persona and personality to be around anime, watching you. I mean, I got it. It's anime. Watching you. Um, it's like cartoons, I guess you could say, but it's Japanese cartoons. It is in Japanese, and then they uh, subtitle it. You speak Japanese? I was gonna say, do you understand? I don't. I, I understand a few words. We actually just went to uh, me, my brother, and one of my friends, or I guess friends from high school. We went to Japan. How long have you been out of work? I've been out of work for six months since June. How did you? Pay I'm you? not gonna cap. This nigga is doing amazing in this fucking oh, yeah, yeah. interrogation yeah. room right now. Um, I think the only other game that we really played was Fortnite. But Don't know how. Get to, like, That's a big deal right now. Yeah. Yeah. The younger Kids are all over it. And, and actually, yeah, during the time that I, was, um, that I wasn't working as a nurse, I tried to do the whole Twitch streaming thing. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no. With, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with Twitch, Nigga was cranking you noddies. got your mic and then you have your face cam. And then... You, Basically, people are just watching you play whatever game you're going to say that you're playing. Okay. <laughs> he was watching Tyler Blevins! This is because of Tyler Blevins! Stop! No! He was not watching me. XQC, maybe. On virtual reality, it was primarily just Beat Saber. So it's like a, a rhythm-based game, like Guitar Hero. Apart from that, uh, we really didn't get into too many other games yet because we were kind of just focused on Beat Saber. Mm -hmm. But I think we had downloaded a few Beat other Saber. Just like Isn't that a VR game? You're going through like a world and you can interact with the world or something like that. Close to your brother Cody? Let's talk about Cody. Oh, yeah. 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 Me and Cody. Who's older? You or him? He is. I'm the youngest one. I'm 29. He's 31. Okay. My oldest brother, Jason, is 35 or 36 now. Uh huh. Talk about Cody. Cody. You know, we decided to go to nursing school together. We decided to go to the, the nurse anesthesia school together. But a lot of people thought that it was weird. 29. Because we did everything together and because we were so close. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean. Yeah, a lot of people understand the bond of brothers. Though. Yeah. The true bond if you're close to the And, I mean, during Chat, like, was this one of the niggas in my mentions calling me racist? I've given you. He was, he'd take care of everything for Always me. there for you. Yeah. Always there to support you. Always there. Yeah, did everything together. <laughs> um, and you were ever any issues really with him? No, like I was saying, during this last six months, it, it had been a very trying This is not time. Dalen. He would, like, have his moments where he would get extremely upset. Like, uh, like you know, he never gets violent, I guess you could say. But, like, at one point, he got so upset that he, like, pushed a cabinet, and then it, like, dented Thank you for the, the turbo, wall. Jordan. Yeah, I mean, it yeah, LBO, thank you for the two months. DL, Chris, thank you for the three. Like, where he's... He's there for me. Like, whatever it takes, regardless of what's happening, I'm going to take care of it for you. Mm -hmm. I met your mom. My mom has, uh... It must have been a bizarre sight for the detectives to witness when a man who had just allegedly shot his mother in the back of the head gave a reminiscent smile when she was brought up in the discussion. She's always been the, uh... It's kind of like Cody. She's BBL, always been the one that own. focused on me. Mm -hmm. And, um... Wait, were you the baby? You, tr yeah. you were truly the family baby? For my mom. Yeah. Okay. Those good, Silva. Okay. For my mom. <laughs> um, Mom's favorite? Yeah. You know, countless times my dad would, like, come up to me and he'd make, like, me feel, like, he'd try and use things and word things to make me feel guilty so that I would, you know, do everything that I can, like, get a job. Almost and, like a motivation? Right. Uh, and he'd, he'd tell me time and time again that, you know, you're her favorite. I mean, she would do anything for you. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's like, yeah, I don't need to hear that. I mean, that's not what would motivate me. Sure. Um, but no, with mom, I think we yelled at each other a grand total of like three or four times my whole life. 
Never any issues. I mean, she, it was always, like, if there was somebody that I could talk to and, like, Cody wasn't available, I'd always talk to my mom. I'd always let her know what's going on. Um, yeah, I mean, she would help me out through through anything. Okay. Tell me about Dad. Dad. Uh, what's he do? What's he do? <laughs> Dad's a pharmacist. Uh, he works for CBS. Yo, to be a bald nigga to scratch your head, like, what does that feel like? Years or so. Does it feel like scratching your back? very, like, angry, violent type person. Overbearing. Overbearing, you know, like baseball practice, it'd be like for four or five hours, and he's hurling <laughs> the ball as fast as an adult can, and we're like seventh, eighth grade. Scratching your balls. Belittle you? He would belittle me when I was younger. <laughs> the problem, I guess, was was that I was. Cop would be always, number one. Like, tell yo, tell Twist to cough up that fucking contract. Down, make everybody smile. If it was a heated situation, I could say a joke or something, and then make everybody kind of move past it. You tell us and take off your braids wig. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, that is okay. Okay, all right. You can say anything else, but don't ever in your motherfucking life ever say I'm wearing a wig. You could, nigga. You could damn near call me broke before you say that. I don't. I don't wear no fucking wig or lace, nigga. I don't. <laughs> Yo, bro. You see, bro. And nigga said, "On God, L lace front." <laughs> Yo, bro, stop, bro, stop! Don't start and this shit, please the stop. Where it's like, stop, you know, bro. Hearing, you know, all this <laughs> that, and how much Cody's helping me. You know, mom's stressed out. Y'all got job. jokes, and like, y'all got jokes, bro. Y'all got jokes. Yo, Project <laughs> Y, thank you for the three months. Uh, the last time my dad put his hand. Hey, Mo, thank you for the three months. The, I'd say when you killed him. Kind of the middle of December of 2018. What happened? It's because, um, you know, with all the money that had been getting spent and... Just to be clear, the cam model has not yet been brought up in the discussion. The money being spent in this context would simply be his living expenses. Uh, Damn. I guess just to make everything <laughs> I QZ, thank saying, you for the tier one. Up in him. Um, and the fact that I was, to him, it seemed like I wasn't concerned about it so and then plus i was you know i wasn't acting like myself with the jovialness and you know sure. all that kind of stuff um my father chose to admit me to like a like an, a depression or an addiction or something <laughs> like that in fort lauderdale called cornerstone it was said depression that but you know that shit was from wacky your shit too much I'm not gonna lie so bro i, think, I thought i was gonna uh, get sent uh January sent to one of those before i'm not gonna lie so to i mean I, I didn't, but they As a kid, that, though. You know, this was your only... Who said? My dad. Okay. And that was in Fort Lauderdale? 12 times yeah. isn't crazy. 10 you times isn't crazy. My no. mom and my brother both agreed, but it Maybe. was my dad who was like the iron fist, like, this is what's going to happen. Like, you know, he can't... Why did he say he needed to go? What was his It's reason? not that crazy. Because... Literally 24 uh, hours in a day. was acting, he just... He didn't see that I was doing anything for, like, the positive. Um... You know, and a lot of it just came back to money. Yo, AC, uh, thank you for the twist, bro. Uh, he would, he would like allow me to to spend <laughs> money that he had, uh, like with his credit card or something like that. But <laughs> so you wasted a whole day jerking. Okay, so when you're when you're literally like when you're 11 years old, 12 years old, on a weekend, parents not home. Like, what is your first thing like what is one of the things that you do some of you niggas go to the living room and put fucking porn on the tv so how am i worse than y'all what the fuck get on the game man fuck that get on the game nigga i was on the game modern warfare 2 to be exact private match practicing my trick shots the shit got boring nigga it got boring i was on the game the game was on. Trust me, it was on. Like then, whenever I did, it was Xbox like 360. Problem. Okay, so you had one. I remember that day, bro. I remember that day vividly. Um, Damn. Well, what I was doing is. Um, over I don't the wish past that on nobody, bro. Crazy day. Four months or something like that. I've been ta I've been talking to this woman online. Who's she? Uh, she. <laughs> It's embarrassing as it is. She's a she's a cam yeah. she's a cam model. A what? <laughs> a cam model? Sorry. Do you guys know that? Nope. Uh, just, just like all the videos, you gotta treat it up to tell them. A cam model, it's like they they 
It's like a virtual girlfriend, I guess you would say. <laughs> like that type of situation. So, a lot of the money went to her. Okay, where's she at? She lives in Bulgaria. <laughs> Bulgaria? Where's that? That nigga got got by one of them. Yo, bro, Bulgaria, nigga, you got scammed, nigga. Over in Europe. It's like okay. outside of Germany. Okay. Like that. You ever been there? That boy no. got got by one of them. Uh, far there was more than okay. So, what would you give her money for? Exactly. Um, just for, like, the time online with her. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was just, like, that type of thing. And what did she charge? $600 for, like, a, like 5000 or something tokens or something yo, like that, so... Yo, can the nigga... Yo, uh... Exclamation point, prom. You can sell for free with Twitch Prom, bro. If you already support an Amazon, yes, uh, Twitch has a thing where you can sell for free. Exclamation point, prom. Thank and then you. it was four hours a night. Um, so I mean, it's, I mean, that's basically just where all the, like the cost went to was you pay real money for the tokens, then you use the company's digital currency for, okay. for that. So you do that. And when did you meet her? I met her. Um, at the beginning of July yeah at the very beginning of July okay and and still talking huh. to her still yeah I mean more just on uh, like Twitter okay. like just through direct messaging um, again cell phone service doesn't work so it's like I can't use the, the chatting like how that how much do you think you spent on this because it's kind of pricey yeah probably <laughs> kind of pricey <close> to <laughs> like $200,000 I'd say. Two hundred thousand dollars? Right. And where'd the money come from? Money came from me, uh, my brother, and then my dad. That fucking Did they that know where the fucking was going? got it. They didn't know that it was going look at that, to Look at that's uh, three Hellcats. I can't model. I, I was saying that it was going towards my Twitch streaming uh like, Fucking liar. Like put, yeah, like advertising, like putting my name out there and that, that Fucking type. liar so I guess to like bring it all back with why I was brought to cornerstone bitch uh, you can't pay for no fucking advertisement on this shit fuck out of here god damn it they would have put you on the front page though uh it was a mix of all of those things it's like he felt like you know i um he felt like you need to be grounded yeah yeah and so then i was there you know i spoke to like the therapist and psychiatrist and all that stuff i didn't Need any medications for anything? Mm -hmm. They had analyzed. Nigga got that. grounded at 29. This is an isolated event. You've been out of work. You have this PTSD from the whole getting arrested thing. And I mean, the last thing on my record was I think a speeding ticket back when I was at UCF. They had signed me up, I think, to be there for 60 days. <laughs> but then I was only there. <laughs> thank you for the silver and chloride. So, hey, Hydrocaps, thank brother. you for the seven months. Cody, what was the cost of that? You know? 15,000. So their final diagnosis of you was what? That I was fine. That Autism. It, yeah. That I was I was fine. I told them all about like my living situation and how it had been stressful and then it got better and then now it's just stressful again. But they had all just said that it was just this isolated just event. Situational PTSD from Right. When I got back, that's where my dad started to get really kind of overbearing. And I mean rightfully so, I know what I did. But it's like with him it was every single day, hours a day. <laughs> excuse me, uh -oh. hours a day. He'd come home from work and then he would just talk to me just about the same exact thing over and over and what over. What do y'all mean Bruce again. drop him off when RP? the last time that you and your dad did have, you know, a heated conversation? Uh, it would be Thursday? Thursday. Uh, because one of his rules was that I wasn't allowed to talk to the woman anymore that I had been talking to. Um, but I guess you could say behind the scenes, my mom would let me talk to her through her cell phone using Twitter. So yeah, anyways, on Thursday, he had apparently found out that I was speaking to her again. You know, it wasn't really my intention to continue talking to this woman, but it just kind of happened. Uh -huh. um, and then because there was like that emotional connection, I guess you could say, uh, between her and me, like I, I like, you know, it felt like, like, like a relationship, you know, I didn't want to just stop cold turkey on it. Nigga was a day in. You're home all day. Yes. With your mom. She works at home. Correct. Yeah. Your dad's at work. What's his normal work hours? Uh, he works until I think he had to go in early that day because uh -huh. uh, he had to start like doing overtime or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he normally works though from like five or six in the morning to I think he gets home between like 
5.30. Yo, so Linda, thank you for the oh nine months. What time do you get CJ, thank you for the eight. Uh, he got home at like 5.30. And then uh, he came in and then he asked me in a calmer state, I guess you could say. Like, Yo, McChicken Junkie, thank you for the seven months. the leading question of, you know, why do you think we're about to have this conversation? Giving me, I guess, that opportunity to be honest and thank you for the resub. I need VC, Mark. Tone it down a little and bit. Jason, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I, of course, did what I always did, where I kind of didn't admit to it. Uh -huh. um, and then he he came out and he told me that I had been doing that. He had proof. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, no shit. Yeah. He kind of, you know, pulled me up from the couch, and then he was yelling at me to pack my shit up and just get out of the house. Alfredo, thank one you for the 53. And that, you know, why am I making him have to go through this and all this other kind of stuff. Okay. I have my argument and then I'm packing my stuff. I'm, you know, taking it out to the car. It took me like a couple hours to get as much as I could just kind of out into there. So I left. Okay. And then what time do you think you left about? Oh, God. 9 or 9.30 or so. He goes on to state that he met up with his brother soon after on the side of the road. And what was the conversation? Conversation was basically that he was brought up to speed you know, and that he would take care of it. He was brought up speed by what? This is Grant attempting to frame his brother for a double murder-suicide. You will see this quote brought up repeatedly from this point forward. He was brought up to speed on, like, why I'm, why I'm out here. Who brought him up to speed? My mom. Oh, so she talked to him? Yeah. He told you that mom had, had talked to him? Right. Do you think that's why Cody left work? According to Grant, Cody had left work a few hours early to meet up with him on the side of the road. Cody had indeed left work early, yet it wasn't to meet up with Grant. It was later proven that while Margaret Amato was sitting at the computer sipping on a glass of red wine, Grant wow. shot her in the back of the head. He then lay in wait for his father to return to the house, then shot him twice in the head as he entered the kitchen. What Cody the then received fuck? a text from his father's number, asking him to come home urgently. Forensics believe that he was very likely pleading for his life soon after he entered the front door. He was found by police with a gunshot wound wound to the face, lying in the fetal position. His credit card was stolen, with a purchase made to a campsite for $600 and estimated 30 minutes later. I mean, in my mind, I was just thinking, oh, he had been let off work early like three, three times already this week. So 10, I was 10, just like... 10, 15 minutes you talk to Cody. Right. You have the conversation and he leaves to go home. Right. And you leave to go where? And then I stay in that general area just so that if anything happens, somebody like knows where I am. Yeah, I mean, I was staying in that general area, and then I decided to go to Publix. Publix. He just referred to the Publix supermarket parking lot. This is where he used the free Wi-Fi to log on to the campsite with his dead brother's credit card. Which was about what? Time? Wow. Like, between, like, midnight and one, I think. Yeah. And you go to Publix midnight one, and how long did you stay there? Till That's like, crazy as there fuck. Until, like, seven. Niggas do all this for pussy that they never right, get. Talk to anybody? Mm, mm, uh, mm. I just, I Crazy. messaged a girl that I had been talking to so on Twitter. Yeah. On Twitter, so you have to pay for it. Right, right. Did right. she respond back to you? Uh, I think Damn one. Same. The discussion is then brought back to his last meeting with Cody. And then when you left Cody, what did he say he was going to go do? Cody said that he will take care of it. Take care of what? Just the no, thank you for all the subs, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, appreciate with, it. My bad, I'm not reading. I'll read them after this video. Was from my mom. Did he tell you what he was updated? He had told me that he had told me the reason why, like, I had been kicked out. Um, but he really didn't give me that much dialogue, like, about that situation. You know, he was he was miffed a little bit because you know he had just gotten off work and now he has to go deal with this. But what was your demeanor like? What did Cody see you as? Like, what are they not you, understanding? Like, this nigga killed him. I was scared because I think I mean, they like know I said, now. It was the first time that I had been out of the house. We've come and talked to you. You okay. rode up here voluntarily with us to talk to us. Oh shit! The detective will now initiate the first confrontation. Why do you think we're having this conversation? I honestly don't know, but I'm <laughs> pretty freaked out at this point because. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's uh Do what you do best, play victim, man. I, mean, Go I ahead. know like how the situation was when yeah, I left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're now yeah. about to see the lead yeah. interrogator's cool. attempt at getting Grant to confess right. in a manner so blatantly obvious that the suspect immediately sees through it. As a as a child was told the truth always is the best thing to do, correct? Correct. You agree with me? Yeah. Mm. 
and accidents happen and things in the heat of the moment, things happen that we wish hadn't happened. But we make, I, I do it myself sometimes, my kids will make me so aggravated, I'll snap at them and then walk away and say, wow, I wish I would not have done that. That was not very adult of me to, to snap at my child or something. Yes, they're wrong, but I should be the adult and not snap at them. Right. Tell me what you think, because I, I can tell by I've done this for a long, long time, and I read people the way they act, and the way they they talk to me, and the way they answer questions. There's something you want to tell us. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your body language, and just your the way you act. Now's the time. Now's the time. There's something you want to get off your chest, and give us an explanation of what's bothering you. Now is the exact time to do it. And I, I, I'm giving you that opportunity. Um, right now to tell me some something you want to get off your chest. It's there. I can see it in your face. I can see it in your eyes. You're upset about that night. You're upset about it. You're upset about it. You've been that since we've talked to you. <laughs> w manipulation. Even though I don't know the <laughs> people that something really bothered this guy. It's not that, you know, I spent a bunch of money I shouldn't have on this girl. They're gaslighting so the fuck out of his bald headed ass. The money can be made back. Something's bothering you. I, I'm just worried about what is all transpiring from this. I, I think at this point right now, to be honest with you, Grant, you know what it is. Um, it's, it's in your eyes. Your, your eyes is, is, is <laughs> your soul, and it's in your eyes. I'm sorry, and man. It's, it's so stupid. fucking tough. People don't believe it. Like I told you out there in the car, did I not tell you? You may not like what I say, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth every time because I can walk, in, walk in, in front of anybody in God and say, I don't care. I told him the truth. And we usually know answers before we ask it. Mm. I, I knew, we, me and, and Eva knew everything before before um, we asked you the questions. Now's the time to, to come to Jesus, be honest, because you're holding something back. I can see it in your eyes. People don't believe that the police will help you, but we are actually here to help you with issues you may have. Um, I think something happened, and you don't want to tell us but right now is the time to get it off your chest. And I really wish you would because it, it will make you feel better in the end. I, I genuinely don't have anything else that I can say about the night or, you know, the... the Fucking liar! There's only, there's only one opportunity to... Why is this nigga lying? Make that, that good impression. And to, if we've done something we shouldn't have done, you fess up there. You get caught your hand in a cookie jar. Detective Dan's approach this detective here is so is incredibly fucking outdated dog and shit. predictable that it actually seems to boost the suspect's confidence. It's right? the detective, in fact, who gives off a nervous disposition. He'll begin stumbling over his own words while simultaneously mixing up his analogies, which never made a great deal of sense to begin with. Yo, all these, yo, bro, all these subs and gifters, no, yo, I appreciate y'all niggas. God damn, I just don't want to talk over the video. Did he car hit it? Um, or during the time that you drove around for those few hours. Did you ever really Thank you for the three the three months, you Frank. You'll also notice the female detective interject with something useful every now and then. But unfortunately, she's not the one leading this interrogation. That would be the detective who keeps bringing up Jesus. To a guy who just murdered his family to go jerk off in a parking lot to a Bulgarian camp oh. model. I know things that you don't Thousands know. Thousands away. And honesty will get you all the... the Things I can do for you beyond. I can't deal with a, someone who lies to me, right. but I'll deal with someone and help them till the end, no matter what. Believe it or not, that's just me. Yo, top one list. Thank I'm you, very, bro. It's, it's wait, wait, see, bro, I didn't see, fucking hear y'all keep murder his family to go jerk off in a parking lot to a bull. <laughs> Alright, bro. Why he doing that though? Aryan cam model. I know things that you don't know. And honestly, Actually true. All the, the Nigga not lying. I can do for you, Yo, thank you for the turn one gleam boy. I appreciate you. Andre Barry, thank you for the 19 months. Someone and help them till the end. No matter what, believe it or not, that's just me and she'll tell you. I'm very it's, it's Yo, ready. Tyrone, thank you I'm for the fucking five. Seven 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 piggy bank, thank you for the six months. Chris, thank you for the two months. Every one of us make mistakes and do things we shouldn't have done in the heat of the moment to protect ourselves or to protect somebody else. It happens. Now's the time. Now, now is the time. So, what do you think happened? Yo, thank you, bro. I appreciate that, Tyrone. 
I think that there was something that obviously happened at the house. Tell me what happened. I don't know what happened. I know better. Listen to me. Ooh. I know better. I can help you, Grant, with honesty. I can help you with honesty. We think something else happened before you left the home that you're either afraid of or embarrassed to talk about. But we need to know exactly what happened because, like Danny said, we can place you there at certain times. And so we need to know what happened before you left that house because you didn't leave with everything being okay. I, I honestly, I don't, I don't have anything else that I can really say. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Do you even know why law enforcement got involved? You broke it. Thank you for all the subs, y'all. Yeah, I want to finish this video, though. I have to. I'm too. I'm way too I mean, deep you're into a smart it. Guy. You know something. And every resub your that we get while I'm watching yeah. this shit, I uh, thank y'all after the video. You haven't heard or gotten any well, emails. I mean, I, I'm just scared as to what the answer is. Well, you I, need to. Help I need to see the outcome of this. Filling in the blanks of what happened that night, so we can give you the answer. Did anything more happen with you and your father besides him grabbing you up from the couch and yelling at you and kicking you out? Anything else that at all? Did he pull, did he car hit a sub go and you watching this crazy? God damn, PGR twenty one. You would have fucking thought that this nigga was fucking Casanet's baby mama. Jesus Christ, nigga, are you having twins? <laughs> <laughs> you hit you, drawing no. weapons on you. No. That boy, that boy finna have twins in it, bitch. Damn, nigga. <laughs> I mean, this, this, this is the time. The that was on. fucking insane, so bro. Walk, that was insane. Eyes, eyes tell me oh God. Exactly that you you are hurting inside. I get it, brother. I get it. You're hurting. And this is the You're only scared. time we can help you. Because once we get to a certain point, there's nothing I can do. It's it's in the hands of who has it. Nothing I can do. Man, send Honestly, this nigga to jail, man. Coffee. You get you ca get caught. Yo, stop thinking for the five months. You admit to it. I get it. How can I get help? What can be done to help me? And let me tell you the rest of my story. You're holding back. And if back. something happened that you were defending yourself, then we need to know that. If you were protecting yourself because you were in fear, then that makes sense. But we need to know exactly what happened for you to protect yourself. You can't minimize this. Mm. Once uh, a wise man told me one time, once a, a, a bomb goes off, you can't defuse it. The detective's wise man friend was clearly a specialist in nuclear fusion, yet most people would already comprehend that a bomb can no longer be defused once it has exploded. You can't. That's already out there. Yo! Now, the point to say, how do I put Bruce on Bruce D, yo, boyfriend, thank you for the fog. What minimize the, fuck? The, the, the injuries I have. And we're giving you Lifting that thank you for the tier one. I want to give you the opportunity. I don't think you're a bad guy at all. I really don't. The male detective will now for some reason focus on Grant's flaws and the overwhelming embarrassment of the cam girl situation, which is basically the exact opposite of what he should be doing. He seems to get confused about what he's trying to achieve like, here. He carries he a sympathetic tone while essentially roasting the ever-loving shit out of the suspect. I think you're going through a very stressful and emotional time right now with being out of work and just dealing with all the problems with, with the arrest. You're probably not used to depending on somebody to pay all your bills. You know, you have to do mom and dad or have to have to give you Thank money. You, one. Cody's having to give what you Cody? money. And there's a Appreciate significant you. debt to people. Two hundred thousand dollars. I don't know what I do. I mean mortgage, yeah, I get it. Or something like that. Or or a medical bill for my child, yeah, I get it. But talking to some girl, you know, in Bulgaria, you know, you 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 hit it right on that you were embarrassed about it. And you have nothing to be embarrassed about. Here here it is, man. <laughs> I wanna help you, she wanna help you. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta come to me with the truth now, because I, I already know the truth. There's a we, reason you didn't go back to the house. There's a reason why you haven't tried to reach out. I mean, it's why you haven't heard from anybody. Yeah, I mean, I must, I just, I don't. I, it's like it's words that like I can't think of to even say. Like I, I just, I don't know how to even say the words. But what, what you, Jesus. Give me a roundabout what you're thinking. Fuck you mean you don't know how to say the word That somebody in face. my family's dead. And how does that make you feel if, you think, if you're thinking that? I have absolutely no ability to, to comprehend Yo, Bonsnats, thank you for the six months. Like I said, I've been there for my whole entire life. 
and even though there has been struggles and everything like that, there have never been any issues. There's never been the struggles or the issues like happened Thursday. Never for you. I, I believe you 100%. I believe it's never been like that. But something happened Thursday, unlike anything yeah. you've ever experienced in 29 years of your life. Never. And maybe you felt that was rock bottom for you. You were getting kicked out of the house. Your father gave you an ultimatum. I mean, that's... The female detective will now carry out what the male detective was probably trying to do a few minutes ago. <laughs> she will afford him justifications for the crime, making the gravity of admission less intimidating. You know, you're already dealing with the, the debt, and Yo, thank you, know, you, for now the, you have uh, to stop talking to this girl, eight months, five and star. now you're being kicked out of the home. Mac. I mean, that's... I, I can understand how you would feel. I mean, that you'd want to lash out, or, you know, if something happened, you'd want to defend yourself. Sure. Absolutely. But we need to know what happened. I mean, I know I can tell that you guys are, like, leading me into a certain way of what... The only thing we're leading you to is wanting to get the truth from you. Not trying to make you say something that's not true, that's not accurate. The truth. The end. Shut the fuck up talking, fat ass nigga. You don't even know what you're truth. talking about. I, I genuinely don't have anything else that I can say about what transpired... The, uh, during the night time. So when you left your house, everybody was fine. Yeah. And when you left Cody, everything was fine. Niggas be lying. Well, we got called to the house because Cody didn't show up to work. So law enforcement goes over there. Yo, the way the assassin, thank you for the five gifted time, man. Thank you for the tier one snarling. Thank you for the eight months. No, the and Tommy, thank you for the 11. told was that Cody would take care of it for me. And that's all that I know. So if anything happened in the home to bring law enforcement there, what would you think happened? Is he hitting it? Hold on, wait. <laughs> Wait, he hit 300? Yo, yo, yo. Why these Cobb Mafia niggas? Don't, first of all, you niggas didn't even say thank you. I just gave you niggas 300 gifted fucking subs. And bitch, I'm fresh out. So where the fuck? So, 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 so where the fuck was the commissary and money on my books? Just... Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Happened. The fuck? <laughs> like, like, damn. Uh, there was a shooting. Oh my, yo, bro, no, 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 no. Okay, I just seen something on the screen with, it's insane. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let, yo, no, no. I actually, actually, no, 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 no. I just seen something on his screen that made me kind of feel away because they, Wow, no, that's, that's weird. Super weird. Between Cody and and my dad. Super weird. No, 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 it's not the chat. No, it's not the chat. It's not and the why chat. Why would you? It's not the chat. That? It's not about the chat. It's not about the chat. To protect. I just me seen or something. To help me like, or to do something with me. They, nah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So M e M P frenzy. Yeah, E M P frenzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your father or your mother. Yeah. No. I mean, I don't Dick know like, what more I can say. Bare minimum. Well, when law enforcement arrived, that's what they found. So you're the only outstanding child. You're the one that's been having problems with your dad. You're the one that we haven't been able to find for two days. Mm. Do you understand now why would we would be questioning you about this? Yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't... Like... That boy gets I mean, ESPN I notifications. Saying, like, all, like, you, I don't know the, the way to. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know like what to even Those say. Good tips. So if anything happened in the home, you believe it would be Cody and him. Yes. Because I was. I mean, I don't. I. I. I don't have. You know, access to anything. He's stuttering. No. Why is he? Why is? Why is this shit lasting so long? Cody. Didn't shoot your dad. We know Cody Yo, didn't shoot thank your you mom. One. We know Cody didn't shoot himself. No, don't put it in sub mode. It's fine. It's fine, y'all. And you still have an access. It's fine. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
At any point, did you feel like you needed to reach out to Cody and see if he was okay, or? I just didn't want to call him. Uh, I just didn't bitch, want to he's dead? <laughs> we understand your father was abusive. Rhetorical ass question. We understand that he was the asshole. And if he threatened you, that he was going to kill you when you came back, you were probably in fear, were you not? So oh, I feel like playing UFC after this for some reason. And then this gunfight happened, and you got so scared that you left. This version of events would obviously clear Grant of any wrongdoing. The detective is hoping he takes the bait so that he changes his story Jesus, and can then be placed under arrest for lying to police. Thank you for the three. Must CP three. Thank you for the twelve. No, I mean I, uh. I, I had left when I had said that I had left. I, I just don't know where else to go to get you to to, to come around. GTA RP after this? I'm down. I don't care. It does not make any logistical sense of what you're telling us. It doesn't. Mm. Switching battery, y'all. If these two got in a shooting, we would know. We would know they shot each other. We'd know that. But why mom? Things just got so bad and out of hand, like never it's been before in your life, never been here before in your life or your family's life. He's pissed. His future, his retirement, his plans are being upset by you because of the financial cost. I would almost bet this is just a horrible, bad incident that on any other day wouldn't happen. But you and me both know as does she, what happened that night. I just, I, I don't, I don't have the answer for anything else. <laughs> this, this is the last time for him to walk out and then I'm done. Why he I'm get done. up so mad? I'm done, I'm done, done. I mean, I just, I don't have anything else that I can say. What? Do you not feel bad for Savage doing that Savage mistake, but it's her one. Who's, I mean, uh, I've been getting blamed for the last half a who's year. Who's Corinna? Thank you for the tier one gifted. I appreciate you. Forward into a positive Thank you for five gifted. My bad, I keep talking. I'm an idiot. And then every day I'm reminded of all the trouble that I had caused. And then I keep being told the same thing over and over again, but there's nothing that I can do to change it. Do you regret doing this to each one of your family members? I didn't do that to each one of them. Here, you, you sit in my seat for a minute. Sit in my seat. Get out of here. Sit right here. Come here. Sit right here. Get out of that seat. Sit right there for me. The suspect still isn't sitting in his seat. Two things that happened here today. <laughs> Two things. You're a guy swimming out in the middle of the ocean, and we're going to give you one of two things based on based on you. You can have a life preserver to keep to keep from drowning. Or you get the boat anchor. It's which one do you want? Because we will give you whichever one you ask for. The life preserver, the boat anchor. I want the life preserver that I've said everything that I can. You, you want it, and I, I believe you do, but you have not said everything you, did, you can say. But there will be a oh, Rebecca, thank you for the you five gifted. For that life preserver. I can't give it to you. I can't. Once I cross, once I cross a line, I gotta step over. Can't do it. Won't do it. Think, not gonna think, lie. Think about that. It would have been GG's checkmate if the I nigga said, "I would like to speak from uh, think, to my think lawyer." Think about the, the 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 last life preserver I can give you. Think about it. Take a few minutes just to, to reflect on it, and then we'll come back to you in a couple of minutes, and then we'll go from there. And what happens is what happens. Fair enough. Can they hurry this up? I gotta take a fat shit. You alright, man? Okay. Need some food, some water. You good? You good to stay for a while longer? You okay? I mean, I just, I just don't have anything more that I can say. I don't okay. know what the next. I'm not keeping here. If you want to stay, well, I'll talk to you till whatever, till you're you're happy with with everything and you're okay. Um, 
You're not detained. You're not being kept here. Don't want to be here. You don't have to be here. And I don't want to be here anymore. Okay. Give me a minute. We'll get you out of here. What we'll do is uh, we'll get you up somewhere. Oh my God! His fucking my haircut is ass. Tyrone with another and, five uh, fucking gifted. Thank that. you, bro. Any questions of me before I go, or before before we walk like, out? I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Like what am I uh, like allowed to do? Live your life. Yo, Advil with another five. Hold on. What the fuck? We're right there at Jason's here. It's going to be a few Take more minutes. What months. I need to do is just for, for our investigation, get some pictures of you. We're going to collect your clothing. As soon as that's done, Yo. we'll get Jason here to talk to you. Tyrone. Right. Thank you, Tyrone. Weak ass fit. Who the fuck is, who the fuck is this? All right, so uh, I, I take it you know what happened. Hey, these niggas going butt booty naked crazy in this motherfucker with these gifted subs. Okay, so now y'all niggas getting money. Okay. So I come back to my chat. Y'all niggas getting money now? Y'all know I only been out three goddamn days. I didn't know this about y'all. Yo, thank y'all, bro. For real. Just call me Polo. Thank you for the five months. And Tyrone, thank you for the five. I just, I'm going to ask you playing out. You, you are not part of it anymore. Wrote the 103K, man. Know the vibes. How? When's the last time you saw everybody? Uh, I left the house between like uh, midnight and like 12.30. <laughs> so this is like a family member or something? I want to believe you, Grant, but you're the last person that I could put in that house. <laughs> <laughs> I... Okay, okay, okay. I knew the world was moving backwards, but I definitely know the world is moving backwards because Patrick G condones gifting 10 subs. He's broke his shit. <laughs> Yo, Patrick. Bro, you getting money now, bro? What the fuck? Okay, bro. Okay. I kind of like you now, bro. I kind of like you now. Thank you for the 10 fucking gifted, Patrick. Bruce D, your boyfriend with the 5 gifted. Tyrone with another 5 gifted. Yo, bro. Next goal is 30K, man. Nigga just sold his PlayStation to give me some. I can't believe. I love you, Patrick. I, I lied. What happened? Yo, Twan! Yo, thank you for the 10 gifted, bro. I appreciate that. Thank you. The shit you did, you could have been in jail. You would have been in jail for years. Yo, bro, these niggas is going crazy, bro. Can't even watch the video. Paid them. Thank you for the fucking five gifted. Twan with the ten gifted. Tyrone with a ten gifted again. Cartier with five gifted. Shit. Thank y'all, bro. I appreciate y'all, niggas. I could take you physically, but if you have a knife or know where a gun is, I'm fucked. You could have been in jail. You would have been in jail for years. And they covered it up for you. I'm scared for you and I'm scared for myself. And I don't feel comfortable with you being around me alone. I'm sorry. I could take you physically, but if you have a knife or know where a gun is, I'm fucked. I need you. To be with another five gifted. I need to have closure. I was told that you would not be have access to be able to contact this woman. Why do you feel the intent to still contact her? It was just the whole emotional thing. I mean, that's, that's okay. all I can say. So are you saying that you love the woman? I feel like I did, yeah. Okay, you feel like you did, so you don't Boy fell in love with an e-bitch. Well, I mean, now it's pretty much, you know, I mean, it's not what it used to be. My fault, you know, like, e-woman. Because she's aware of what has right. happened in the last several months. Right. It hurt, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, because you can't right. carry that persona that you carried before. I do love you, though. Just remember that. Just like Mom, Cody, and Dad loved you. Damn. Nobody loved you any more or any less. I know that fucked his head up. For lifers. Thank you for the reset, uh, bruh. 27 months, thank you.
you have anything else you need to talk about before we let you go? Because now's your time. You know that. Like Danny said, once you're out of here, you there's no coming back from this. We're giving you every opportunity to tell us what happened in that home that you have not told us. Mm-hmm. So you're aware that when you leave here, you're not going to have any chance to redeem yourself and tell us the truth after the fact. I understand. And you're okay with that. Mm-hmm. You can live with yourself knowing that you're not going to tell us the truth. I understand what I can say. Yeah, lock his thug ass up. This was recent too, because they brought up Fortnite and shit. Question for you, real quick. You want to hurt yourself? You want to hurt anybody else? No suicidal thoughts. Okay, come on. Fucking, he's not even a. He's not even a fucking thug. He's a fucking. Grant was arrested coward. nine hours later at his hotel. His nigga. trial began on August twelfth, two thousand nineteen. Grant Amato was so obsessed with this woman. You're gonna see from the evidence in this case. At 2.53 a.m. on January January 25th. I'm not going to lie, nine hours, I, I, that nigga could have went to Puerto the Rico. House that contained the three dead bodies of his family. The defendant goes to a nearby public parking lot, logs on to their Wi-Fi, and uses his dead brother's USA a checking account to pay $599.99 to get onto Sylvie's website at 3.02 in the morning. That's what this case is about. Wow. It's about his blind obsession with this woman, the end of the world as he believed it, to be that's because of liter- it. literally a hundred gifted nigga could have get this up literally a hundred gifted what the fuck are you doing his family and his absolute contempt for those that he held nigga responsible. say he did twitch could have invested that put that into your sub count or some shit grant amato was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole that's that, that that's it no stoning no firing squad. See, that's why I'm not gonna lie, bro. 